Hi, I'm Duke. And I'm Lola. And this is Bossa Nova Life. And today... We are in Las Vegas, Nevada. We are bringing you antiques. Antiques again, baby. And we are at the Antique Alley Mall. That's right. So let's go in and check it out. Is this your favorite thing to do, Lola? It is my favorite thing to do. Hey, Nevada's open. I like this little guy. <laughs> it's a random bird. He's just a random bird. I mean, here's a random bird. There's a random bird. Several yeah, random, random birds. birds. Or I found a random bird. I found a random bee. Look. It's a random elephant. <laughs> hey, Lola. I didn't know they had antiques this old. <laughs> I think they need to send this back to Egypt where it came from. No, oh my goodness. <laughs> and all these people coming across our border. What do you find out? I found this really cute lamb. Oh my. It's 52 cents long, so I need it. This would go in our Atomic Kitty. How much not, is it? 50% off of what? 50% off of 260. So 130. That's normal Oregon prices I now. I could ship this. You could ship that. Like that. Oh no, did you find something, Lola? I think I need to get some clothes. I don't think I have enough. <laughs> yeah, you don't have enough tiki clothes, for sure. You're struggling in that area. I know. Said no one ever. <laughs> Not just tiki, I like all vintage clothes. Yeah, I like your amazing one you're wearing right now. I know. Little 60s scooter dress. <laughs> Their antiques go to every level. <laughs> Yeah, the timing. Way back. To the land of the lost. That's right, land of the lost. Land there's, there's of the lost. There's some glasses that match your outfit. I'm not saying Lola's getting us dressed, but what I am saying is that I may not be able to get her out of here without buying some dresses. That's kind of cool. I have seen many, many lamps over the years, but I don't know if I've seen one that was like, let's say, cork and wood, and you blended them together like that. That is impressive. I like it, and right? it's got that awesome, like, late 60s look. You should know me by now, because I spot the vintage ice bucket from all across the way. That's pretty cool. I like that one. Which is why when you're oh my goodness, Lola. I don't yeah. normally collect ashtrays. I mean, I have a few. I definitely have some, some but this one is amazing. Oh, it's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I might. I might need that one. <laughs> you might my need cigars it. On that ashtray. <laughs> I don't know how you could put them. That's for a tiny little cigarette. Did you find a Yacht Rock dress? <laughs> it could be a Yacht Rock dress. That looks like I a mean. Yacht Rock dress to me. Yeah, totally. I could feather my hair. You gotta feather your hair. Sailing takes me away. Duke and his singing. That's why I keep them. Be serenade. Ooh. You know what I see poking out back here or peeping out back here? Eat this set. I think I've seen these once or twice over the years. And they're only four bucks each. Do 
you want orange? Orange, you happy you got the spots? <laughs> orange, you happy? I do not want orange. Oh my lord. This is cool. That's something slinky to wear around. I kind of like this. That's where you go out on the patio and that and drink your mimosa in the yeah. morning? Yeah. I might try this on. I had a feeling. I might try this. I had a feeling. Come out. And we have to wear masks inside by federal or state regulations. I don't know which and I don't want to debate it. I'm just saying I hope you can hear me and what I'm saying. So there it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Do you like felt hats? Because they have lots and lots of felt hats. Ooh. But ultimately, at the end of the day, there is only one king of the antique store. Oh my. What have we got over here? I saw this set from across the way, and I instantly wanted to run and check it out. I just am a sucker for gold and black, and there, this is another three-piece set. Obviously, he's probably missing some of the glasses, but you got the shaker. Oh my gosh, that is pretty crazy. I love it. Oh wow, how did I miss this set? Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Lola. Oh my gosh, that's awesome too. Look I like the stuff. black and gold. That's what it, yeah, that's see? amazing, yeah. I knew Lola would like it. I like that a lot. We're big on the black and the it's gold. It's kind of like lightning bolts. Yeah. Very cool. So it's 45 for the three glasses and that. You know what I also this like? This is magnificent. Yeah, these. Oh my gosh. And those are super rare, so I understand why they want like 80 for the five piece set. But I, don't I like know. those. But we don't really, we're not, we don't have a... We don't have a lot of room for glass. Yeah, we're not exactly running low on mid-century amount of glass at our house, shall we say. And I don't know what type of glass to get for Sorry, our trailer yet. Yeah. Because we will need new, all new dishes for our new trailer soon, but we mm -hmm. don't know what to get yet. You know what they say, Lola? What do they say? You're not lying. <laughs> okay, that way you already used that one before. You can't double use a you joke. Can, the dad jokes become funnier the more no. you use them. No. Whoever said that to you lied. Wait, I thought I got out of here, but Lola found a vintage Danish pot. Yeah. It's very cool. It looks like a barbecue that goes in your house. It's a barbecue. A barbecue. For Barbies. Hey, Lola, I mean, while you're trying things on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, did you find more fish all? Well, they're not chalkware, but they're cute. I like them. Not everything in, in your bathroom is chalkware. No, but look at, we can have a little ballerina girl. Ballerina we, in our bathroom. We could, we could. <laughs> How about these? Ooh, look at those guys, they're cute. I actually like the fish over there a little bit more, but it's not chalkware. Oh my goodness, either. I was getting ready to leave this booth again, and then over here, this booth is, for such a small booth, this one's like just, Bumping the mid century yeah, modern. I like it. What, what, what do I think about that? I mean, I think it's pretty. I think I don't need to have any words here. I think it speaks <laughs> for itself. I have no words. I think that you're a real cutie pen. <laughs> Funny. I missed this earlier. That, okay, that is an incredible 60s case. I think we need it. It would have to go in the hallway, though. It could go in the bathroom, it could fit. I'm not sure where. I could fit it. You could rearrange I could fit it. it. I really like that. You fish. want me to get the fish down for I you? I don't feel like we. It's bigger than your head. It's bigger than my head. Look at the size of it. I could make it into a brooch. That, that yeah, you could a brooch. <laughs> you, then you'd say yeah, boy, no. and hang around your neck. I don't know. Okay, no. it's not a clock. All right. Uh, that's kind up of up to the front it goes. Okay. Yeah. That, oh, I can take that oh. up for you, sir. Wonderful. Save me the trouble. Perfect. <laughs> I was like, this is fragile. I don't want <laughs> Oh no, Lola. Well, uh, you say? Yeah, it's actually a pretty good deal too. It's not really a color I love. It's only $59. Cool. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna lie, of all of the, the antique stores and junk stores and everything I've been in, hundreds and hundreds, I don't think I've ever actually seen a mid-century fry bucket before. Look at the size of it too, it's like, it's like it's it's only like the size of my hand. It gives you an idea why Americans have gotten so much larger over the years, because when they did fry things in the past, it was enough to fill like a very, very, like enough to fill like maybe two small soup bowls. So much. There's a lot. Antique explosion. An explosion of antiques. Oh no. Do you need a rat pink statue? I do not. She's looking down on us. Mocking us, Lola. He's yes. mocking us. I can see that mocking tone. Yeah. Rat thinks a little bit of a mock. Okay. So the question that I never expected to actually find here in Vegas, Lola, yes. was tiki. And so much vintage tiki. So much vintage tiki. This, by the way, is the opposite of vintage tiki. The antithesis. <laughs> All right. Is there long lines there? There's some cute pufferfishes up there. What now? There's some cute pufferfishes up there. We just allow to point out the pufferfishes. And those are some big pufferfishes, too. Those, once again, hard to see because they're about nine feet off the ground. But uh, they're gigantic. They're big. I love it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Turning into one of those, Lola. Are we finding more things? Is yeah, every time I think I've entered another, adult, you know, like, oh, we're almost done with this section, then I enter another section, and then it just keeps going. Yeah, yeah it does. You remember what that couple was talking to us about a couple nights ago? Oh, yeah. Obviously, one of these things. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what it was all about, really. <laughs> you are not funny. This is actually something I remember my aunts and uncles having in the 70s and early 80s. Yes, the peacocks. Yeah, the peacocks. So I'm gonna show y'all. Of course, in Vegas you thinks. find photos of pretty ladies. You all know how much I like my little aprons. Apron. So this one, we have a this sided apron, and then we have little cute pockets. Oh my! On this side. That side's way cuter, I think. Yeah. Well, they're both cute, but it's double sided, so I can pick. Okay. I think apron. I'm gonna get this. Bossa Novas, I think you probably agree. I think you all agree. All right. <laughs> hey, Lola, I've seen so many vintage dresses and things since we got here. Yes. But I've actually just spotted the very first 50s or vintage men's thing, and that is that whole Oh, yeah, right that's true. The rest of these shirts are all 80s, 90s, and up, but that's an actual, that's a real vintage one. And that's a oversized. That oh, is that a matching moo? It's a honeymoon set. Oh wow. Well, uh, I mean, we could be ready for Tiki Oasis, Tiki Con. Tiki anything. Yeah. All of the conventions. It's not my favorite pattern, but yeah. it's cool. It's vintage. It's not my favorite color, but somebody's probably going to fall in love with it. Yeah. I kind of like this color right here. Yeah. Oh, that one? This one right here. Oh, that one's cool too. The front of it. Oh, the front of it's kind of pretty. It has oh a little my. tiny keyhole. You could rock it, babe. I could rock it. Like a Polaroid picture. It's not that expensive. It's a pretty good price. I think this is a cool looking jacket. It is very heavy. My though. question is how did this ever wind up in the desert? Yeah, it's Because that hot. is like wool and super heavy. Yeah, it would be hot. Yeah, that's a winter so, only like in the north part of the country. That is that is a little uh, tiki dress. It is. I do love this color. You it's look not my size, but it's very pretty. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. You could wear this for dapper date night. I could. I could get all dappered in it. Realistically, there's a lot of this store I'm not going to shoot just because it's not mid-century and that's all that we're particularly after. So I'll show you that it's got a lot of just collectibles more than uh, antiques. But it only makes up maybe 25% of the store, so a couple of the aisles. Not too bad. So there's a 60s color you don't see around too much anymore. The green and orange. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I love the old thermoses. I've got a weakness for them, but I don't collect them because they're not really something I can use. I try to get things that are useful. But I like them. Oh, hiding up on the top. Look at that. 
Look at that mid-century lamp lighting up on the top. Laying back on the cut. Forties, fifties, and sixties things. This is great. For years, people don't want a ship like this. And suddenly, everybody will Oh, yeah. Everything goes in cycles. Is this your booth as well? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. What have we got here, Frank? I'm going to finish my focus. Oh, oh, my gosh. 1964 student council jacket with all the buttons and everything still on it. Oh, wow. We visited Canada, Seattle. I have an idea that this guy was uh, from my neck of the woods, the Pacific Northwest. Glee Service. I wonder if we could figure out what school it was. There's no way to know. Lola loves her fishes, but does she want dolphins? Let's hope not. <laughs> Do you have friends who are in the tiki, but are really parrot heads? These are the perfect mugs for them. And they're kind of cute too. And hiding in the back, they actually have one tiki mug back there. It's pretty awesome. If it was a snake, it would have been cute. <laughs> Oh, it just gets funnier and funnier. Oh, I know it. <laughs> this is the craziest Jerry Garcia photo frame ever. And it's gigantic with him signing it. Uh, not really mid-century, but it just stands out as just being a really odd picture to frame. But if you're a Jerry Garcia fan, that's for you. Oh no, Lola, what did you find so now? I do like when people take something and vintage and make it something that's useful. Look at these. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. That's actually pretty really legit. I mean, because otherwise people are just throwing these phones away. Yeah, I mean, no, they're not really collector's items per se. They're just a fun, quirky thing to put in your house. Yeah. I have a red one. I have a red phone. Mm-hmm. But, mm -hmm. hmm, very cute. I like it. We could turn it into a lamp. Yeah, we could turn it into a lamp. I love lamp. <laughs> This is not mid-century at all, Lola, but this is something from having owned an arcade for a while that I didn't realize what I was looking at when I was over here. This is actually super rare. Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, those aren't nearly so much, but when you have the Pac-Man that had the pinball on the bottom and then the top, you would actually switch to play a game too. So you would come down here, you would play at the bottom, and then you scored certain points. I could play this. And it would kick over two regular Pac-Man at the top. It's baby Pac-Man. Baby Pac-Man. Yeah. I have not seen one of those cabinets What in happens when you put Pac-Man and Mrs. Pac-Man together? You get a baby Pac-Man. You get a baby Pac-Man. Yeah. I mean, it just... If all goes well. If all goes nature. well. It's nature. Are you good? You find everything you need, Lola? I feel like I or have more than I want. need because I'm going to have to try to get it home. Yeah. And that's where things become difficult. All right. Well, so. let's, let's okay. check out. We didn't get a whole lot today because we have to haul it all back with us on the plane. Hello. You guys have an amazing place. If we just yeah. had more luggage to take it back with us. <laughs> yeah. But, well, uh, you scored. You got we your bag. Look at that. Hopefully you can fit them in the luggage. I have to get these home now. Oh right. my gosh. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> to the next door, right? That's right. <laughs>